Hey all, Binks here, and today we're defending Wakanda. Today's deck is a pool two only deck that is focused around highlighting the new season pass card, Black Panther, a five energy, four power card with on reveal, double this card's power. So it's a really cool effect. Any buffs that you give it in your hand are going to double when it reaches the field. So it's a very strong and powerful card that you can slam down at the five energy slot. Uh, I think that it's decent. I, I feel like it's, Hard to build around it, but with certain different locations, it can be really great. And there's plenty of ways that you can make Black Panther awesome. And what we decided to do is kind of build a Wakandan themed deck. So uh, we have Nakia, who is going to be able to give plus two power to two cards in our hand. So we can get Black Panther over to the left side and we can give it plus two power. Uh, we have Okoye. So if Black Panther is still in the deck, when we play Okoye, she's gonna take out her spear, stab the whole deck, give everything plus one power so we can get it from there. And then we also have Storm in the deck. So Storm uh, in the lore of Marvel uh, actually was married to Black Panther at one point. So it was really cool to add her as well. What Storm does is it floods a location so that uh, there's only one turn left to be able to play on it. Um, so well, the reason that Storm has been good for us, we are playing a lot of pool three decks because we're personally in pool three, even though this is pool two only, is that we're having a hard time winning two locations. We could usually win one with like Black Panther and Chavez, but Storm kind of helps us win that second location. So we storm it, we fill it with a bunch of power. We already have some power there. We can guarantee that one. And then we try and use Black Panther and Chavez to win the other location. So the rest of the deck is kind of built out to accept these buffs as well. Uh, so we have Forge, which is another buff card. It's gonna give plus two power. This can work great with uh, our Black Panther if we get it down. Mr. Sinister is great to accept the buffs from Okoye, uh, Nakia, or Forge because we're going to double that power that comes through. Uh, we just have Scorpion is just a pretty solid two drop. Uh, we have the Killmonger Nova combo. So if you don't run any one drops, uh, I really recommend in pool two trying out just adding Nova and Killmonger to your deck because you can kill off your opponent's one drops and then also pop your Nova late in the game, which works really, really well. Uh, we have Angela and Bishop, which are just real solid staple cards. And then we have America Chavez to finish things off. Gives us more consistency early on and gives us a great drop on turn six when we need it. So I think as far as pool two Black Panther decks, this is probably where you're gonna find the most success. Uh, we were Q positive against pool three decks. So as a pool two deck, that usually means that it's gonna do really, really well on that ladder. So definitely try it out yourself. Uh, let me know in the comments below what other Black Panther decks that you're enjoying, and I'll try and try them out in the future as well. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Uh, sub to the channel. A lot of you aren't subbed and really helps me out. I make a ton of Marvel Snap content, so you're going to love subbing to this channel. You can catch me live either here on YouTube or at twitch.tv slash binks underscore place. Enjoy. So, hey, uh, you know, I'm one-on-one -on, -one on Snap Jeopardy, Toby, so I can't, I can't be too upset about that, right? Pretty damn good. You know, there's three, there's three people in the first one, four people in the second one, so I think winning one out of two still, still puts me in a pretty good spot. The real prize was just getting to hang out with Ben Brode and uh, play with him. That was amazing. I stay in pool one, but getting Black Panther, do I still match with pool one guy? Yeah, pretty sure. It's like weird, like, bucketing system that they do, but they might have, uh, they, they, they said they're going to adjust it soon. It's like a bunch of people are just, like, camping in pool one, which uh, I think is kind of weird. Um, doesn't really matter where we play this, I guess. Let's go, Rainbow Pet. Let's go. Yeah, I'm saying, dude, I made him laugh. That's all that matters. I got, I got to, I got to be the the creator of a Ben Bro chuckle. There's really not, there's really not much more you can ask for in life, you know. I, I feel like I'm just having such a hard time winning a second location with this deck. Is like the biggest problem with it currently. That scorpion paid off dividends actually on, on that guy. I think what we want to do is go like scorpion or this and iron heart. And then we want to do like Nakia Forge. The big Deadpool. I think we could beat the Deadpool though. We talk with Ben Brode about getting dumpstered by Infa. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he commented on my Twitter thread about that, that, that original time. 
We'll go... Nakia Forge? Still just so hard. If they play like anything on Lumaria, I'm just I'm just not gonna be able to get it on top of them. Yeah, I mean you know they had their mess up with um they had their mess up with the events or whatever. The Nexus events. Like they, they screwed the pooch on the Nexus events. But outside of that they've they've been kinda of crushing it. Uh, I just kinda of have to guess right here. I have to kinda of guess if they're gonna try and Don't go for right or go for left. And if they go for middle, I just lose either way. Which is kinda kinda screwed, but they'll they'll probably go for middle. They need a six power middle, so I'll probably do that. Um I'll just I'll send this over to the right. Yeah, if this is the death. Arnim Zola? Oh, we beat Arnim Zola. Look at that. Oh, we don't beat Arnim Zola. Never mind. Wait, we do beat Arnim Zola. Oh, the 16 power one went back in their hand. Let's go, chat. We're crushing it. Chat, you know the rules, right? Snap. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, do it. Come on. Boo. Boo. The Bing C. Boo. Let's go! Let's go, dude. Opponent rules. I think they were just waiting to see if they played like a big card on uh, Murder World, which is understandable. But we're probably going to play Killmonger and just uh, destroy their Sunspot, which is nice. And dude, are they gonna forge Black Panther? My opponent also, or, or my eagle also waited to play in a murder roll until the very end. Absolutely cracked. If they play Black Panther on Sinister London, I'm gonna pop off. Dude, if they play Black Panther on, on Sinister London, they're out of their minds, dude. dude wasp on Sinister, come on, Black Panther, Sinister London. Black Panther, Sinister London, ah. That's okay. Still pretty good. Still killing their sunspot. Still super far ahead. Opponent might retreat here, which is like understandable. I never retreat in ego games. Sinister London, Sinister London. Ooh, rough. Oh, let's go, dude. Opponent's a gamer. Love to see it. Opponent's an absolute gamer. There's no way that wins you the game. What are you doing? Captain Marvel's out of her mind, dude. She thought she won. Victory. Thank you to Dr. Ron Norris for being a gamer and snapping on Ego. Yeah, that was a really good Ego game. That Ego kind of popped off. Yeah. Johnsonson. Johnsonson. You have Killmonger and they're running Ant-Man, so that's good for us. And we have Scorpion. Armortage. Seems pretty good. We also have Kamertage into um, Black Panther if we get it. Spent 4,500 credits and only found Brew. It's tough, man. Oh, they're definitely a Wong going deck, which is really good for them that they got Kamertage, actually. But... We can kill a lot of their stuff, which is nice. And let's just get our uh, Bishop on the left. I want to fill it up actually, if we get the if we get the chance to. Okay, so they're commentaging their own. This, which seems not a good play for them. The Binksy. I just seemed bad what my opponent did. Maybe they're they're that weird Warpath Spectrum kind of like hybrid deck. Seems some people run it. Seems okay. Should be able to win the left side here though. 
Uh, so we're going to ping down their Ant-Man. We're going to cause their Lizard to have minus three. We'll get a Nova on all of our cards. This should be a pretty good spot. Already snapped, right? Yeah, so it's actually, it's not the thing about Twitch making it easier to stream on other things. It's just the fact that I'm not affiliated, which is why I don't have a subscriber button. Yeah, it's the Destroyer Spectrum combo deck. It uses like both. It's kind of interesting. So opponent opponent could be playing a spectrum deck. I want to play spectrum right. They get now they lose power on warpath. Hmm. I'm not saying snap. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. I, it's really tough for them to win there because yeah, they, they either had Spectrum or Destroyer as their top end and either one of them I feel like I was going to be able to weasel out a win. Yeah, that Killmonger came in really clutch to get him before the armor. That was nice. That was very nice actually. I think it's better to get the Okoye out on turn one. Yeah, David Motz is good, man. David Motz is really good. I'm trying to relax, Banks. No need to dismantle me on stream. Oh, yeah, GG's. If you want to feel really bad, just know that this is only pool two cards. GG's though, very, very fun. Ooh, I got the Black Panther off. Yeah, only, only pull two Curious Grant. We're running Storm the deck to try and guarantee a win in a non-BP lane. It's interesting. You wouldn't necessarily guarantee it though, but it would help probably. I think that's actually a really good idea. Unless we're running like Killmonger Nova things. Maybe we'll try that after this game. Good, good call. Yeah, you're fine. And see if my opponent was listening. Um, like Killmonger Forge over on the right. Maybe get a shot to be out ahead. You can also Ironheart those cards later. It's playing Mr. Negative. They probably have like White Tiger things. We could just slam down Black Panther there. Kind of have to play it this turn because of the forge. They magic, we're in a lot of trouble because we're just kind of running out of uh, running out of space to do things. This could definitely be a magic. A Wong, huh? Bit snap, what's up? Welcome in. Yeah, curious. Could just watch Snap Jeopardy. Yeah, that shit was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. So we can just do like this, this, and then try and finish it out with Chavez. Opponents. Oh, it snapped. I'm going to guess they must have white tiger things, huh? I'll just, I'll just let it roll. Sorry for the bears loss, but fields looked awesome. What the heck? Black Panther, 20 powers, Jesus. Arm Solo? Yeah, that doesn't... I mean, that actually kind of played against the opponent, no? Now, that's a huge Black Panther, don't get me wrong. A decent chance we just win with 12 extra power, right? I mean, they could have flipped Iron Man. We lose the flipped Iron Man, but I think we just kind of accept that. Yeah, look at that. I wish we could have seen what ours looked like at the end, but it broke the game. GG's, Davey. GG's. Nice Black Panther, though. I guess they lost their 50-50. If they would have gotten the big Black Panther middle, uh, they would have been they would have been feeling really good. Uh, 
Okay, so we can storm over to the right. And then we, we can know that with... With this Killmonger later, we're, we're going to be in a good spot. Hella child support? True. Yo, Default Dan, thanks for the raid, my dude. How you enjoying Black Panther? Hope, it, hope, it's, hope it's having... Doing some fun things for you. Uh, we Just gotta slam down this now. We don't really need to wait for this Nova too terribly bad. Yeah, we, we kind of need to get it done now. Let's we'll play it out now. We're gonna kill our entire middle board. Look at that. One, two. Trying to make your own Black Panther deck. Does Odin work well with them? I think Odin would be fine. I don't think that it's... I don't think Odin will work that well, though. Uh, my reason being is that... Do this. And then we'll finish out with just like a Black Panther left. We should be able to win. Dark Gray 520, thanks for the follow. It's like, it's the same thing as like the Iron Man Onslaught, right? If, if you think that Black Panther Odin is good, then like... It's just like the same as um, Iron Man Onslaught. All systems go. Oh shit. Um, we should be able to win middle though, no? Full power. Full power is pretty big. We'll see what opponent can do. Just a Shabbos we win. Nice. Jeez. Uh, I mean, I'm winning. I'm Q positive, which is kind of surprising. That's not great, but I do have a way of killing that off. We get a Killmonger. Way to curve out Black Panther 4, Taskmaster 5, Armin 6. Yeah, not too shabby. Yo, 5IX or like 6. Thanks so much for the membership over on YouTube. We'll be honest, I don't have too much stuff going on with the memberships and uh, value that's added to it, but I will be adding more eventually. But I really appreciate the vote of confidence and finding a way to sub to me and support me financially for gaming on Twitch, which is awesome. Super appreciate that. Uh, I think we can just get the Naki out. I mean, this is just like, this game just sucks, dude. Like, what am I, what am I doing, man? <laughs> I like need the Killmonger next turn. Run Forge for Mr. Sinister and Brood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Enchantress doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we needed a Killmonger that turn, otherwise we're just screwed. Uh, maybe opponent can't beat us that bad on the middle? We have to play it out this turn too is the problem. I also run f Ooh. Is it, was it worth playing Odin over America's Shop? A, a lot of people have asked me that, and I just, I don't, I feel like it's a more win more card. America's Shabbos gives us um, consistency of always having it on six and getting to my other cards earlier. Um, And like, if you. Yeah, I can literally do nothing on the last turn, that's correct. Oh, thank you. Why would they do that for me? Why would the opponent do that for me? Why would they give me, why would they let me play something? That was ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for being nice and cool, Gumby. <laughs> Appreciate you. And sneak that bishop out a bit early. Look at Sir Koye down. Uh, I think we're happy to storm here. Oh, ah, it's it's nice when you when you get like Weird World when you're playing a pool two deck because they get to give you 
You get pool three cards. It's pretty sweet. The reason my ass back down to gold and I'm playing nothing but bots again right now. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you have to, you kind of have to like get over a level. I was trying to get over 90 before it ended, but I ended up at like 89, so I'm all the way down at 50. Um, but gold, you shouldn't get getting too terribly many bots. Let's just storm the super. I don't care about weird world. Weird world seems to be kind of helping me. What pool three additions would you make to this deck? Maybe Wong. Yeah, I would just make make a completely different deck. Probably like you could add Wong, um, and then you could go harder on the token stuff. You'd add like Wong, Mysterio, Brood, and you'd probably just take get rid of like Storm, probably Bishop, get rid of Ironheart, maybe get rid of Chavez. Should I just Artem Zola the Storm and then just like cause absolute chaos, chat? That sounds fun, right? Is this a good play? Probably not, but it seems really funny. I still don't think Odin's that good in this deck, chat. Even if you're in pool three. Does it feel annoying when you play your Okoye and then Weird World flips? Uh, yeah, it definitely, it, it doesn't feel great. That's for dang sure. Let's see, do you think we can win this? I think we'll win this. I think we got out ahead. I'm adding seven left and eight right. Yeah, we're getting wild with it. We're getting wild with it, chat. Think they're gonna run? I think they might run. Cause you, you definitely retreat here if you're gonna retreat. GG's. Sometimes, chat, you gotta think outside the box. When uh, when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade, you know? Sometimes the mean play is the best play. It just puts a lot of pressure on the opponent. Like, that, it's such like a scary situation. I'm surprised they didn't go for it, though, because they, they only had to, they just had to go hard in one location. Why Nova? Because I have Killmonger in my deck. That was my only, uh, no was my only, my only one drop in the deck. It's very, very good with Killmonger. I also have two bishops. I feel like a lot of times, a lot of people don't do this, but I personally think that if you, okay, incredibly rude. Okay, we can knock you that back. A little double knock you action going. Yeah, it's fine. This could land right, which kind of screws us. But dude, isn't it? Isn't the the uh, isn't the common scorpion so funny? Yeah, what's up? Welcome in, welcome in from Brazil. Uh, no saving sinister until after the knock. I didn't draw Naki yet. I don't think. Maybe I had. I don't know. But a lot of times you can't really just hold hold things. You know. It feels really nice to hold things, but a lot of times it's actually not in your best interest to just like hold things too hard. I want to get out ahead. I'm actually, not that scared about this. Double Black Panther feels really good here. I need to invest at least. What snaps? Oh, we we might lose this chat, but we're we're gonna we're gonna play it out. Your opponent's gonna play like two big things in the Sinister London. Nakia, Hellmonger. Hellmonger actually benefits us. Yeah, we're gonna win this chat. This is gonna get up to twelve. This is gonna get up to 24. Big money moves, chat. Big money moves. Victory. 
I like Black Panther right there. Black Panther's a fun card. I'm, I'm starting to come around to it a little bit. I do feel like if you go like full token base with it, uh, it can, it can make, some, make some cool plays. Watch that one too.